Good morning traders and welcome to this week's weekly market analysis Monday the 20th of July. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay, let's kick off with the Aussie uh, US dollar as we start to analyze our majors this week. We can see that the level that I've previously marked out for us up top here, that uh, possible resistance level, seems to still be holding. Right now we are trading at 70.22 Aussie US dollar and we're still not able to to break through that point but I also have not received a reversal pattern that will give me the indication to go back down. So we still need to continue to wait here. I've carefully analyzed these candles that I'm showing you here and still what we're looking for is not showing itself. So the best that we can do is let's see if we can actually get um, a reversal uh, confirmation on this perimeter and then that could give us a signal to trade down. Alternatively, we're gonna to have to wait till we can possibly, this one looks to me like if it does break and then comes back down and settles on that uh, level that was resistance before, it could become supportive. So if it breaks up, comes down, and provides in this little circle that I've just drawn some kind of price action there, it could be the opportunity to continue the trade and which would basically be continuation of this trend that has been going from March, which is the recovery from the COVID-19 situation. All right, so those are the two options that I have for the Aussie US dollar. Uh, that's all I can see for this pair at the moment. So let's move along and let's have a look at what we have next. Let's look at the Euro USD. Euro USD last week I signaled to keep an eye out on this level here. Um, we didn't get the reversal to indicate that it could come back down. We have pushed through but it wasn't a clear signal of continuation uh, that it would continue so far uh, this much. So what I've done now is I've gone for the next level up. Let's see if this resistance level holds or if this one will break and then the market will continue in this direction. So again, what I'm looking for now is I'm looking in this area here where we are right now, I'm looking for confirmation that the price is exhausted and it is reversing and then that would give me the indicator to trade in the downward direction. All right, so the current candles that are close to the perimeter there there is no reversal those are not a reversal pattern so we'll just keep watching this of course I'm on a daily time scale here so just take note of that we'll keep watching and see if I can actually produce the reversal pattern that I'm looking for to give us the opportunity to trade this one downward all right so there you have it that's our euro USD let's move along let's have a look at the US yen US yen seems to be trading uh, narrower. Like last week we were in this vicinity and I was saying, let's see if it can push towards uh, this top line, which to me is a very, very nice line. We can see clearly one, two and three very nice touches. So I was looking to see if it could push towards there so that we could trade it down, but it hasn't happened. In fact, it's retrieved back. So the other option is was to look for reversal here to see if we can trade it up, but we haven't had any reversal either, and it seems to be trading narrower and narrower uh, at the moment. So I'll still leave these two lines, this bottom and this top line in place, and I'm looking to for opportunities to trade in uh, off those fringes back towards the center, okay? If it does, give us a really big breaking candle like this, that could be the signal to basically for a, for a drop, a dramatic drop and a push down also on the USCN. So keep an eye out on that. If I do see any of those, I will call them out on my daily call. But at the moment, uh, the USCN, what I'm most interested in is looking for opportunities to go inside the converging triangle for now. Okay, all right. Let's 
have a look at the GBP USD. Got a couple of lines here. The first one that I'll focus on is this top one over here. This line up the top, we can see that it's had one, two, three, and we are here, but I have been able to produce a really nice inside uh, candle to give me any confirmation of any trades in this whole sector here there is not a single reversal indicator there so I haven't been able to take that trade in this direction um, so but I'm still keeping that line there because I want to be aware if we do cross it um, and then I take out that high there this could be uh, the, the start of a, a new trend in the upward direction okay now for the time being let's ignore that line let me just delete it out just to help you along a little bit if I now focus on the channel I can see that I've had one two it touches at the bottom two at the top and unfortunately right now I'm very much in the middle of that channel so normally what I would look for is I would look for the market to come up here look, give me some kind of an indicator that it's going to reverse and then take the trade in this direction or alternatively let it come down to the bottom look for the reversal and then take the trade back into the channel so I'm trying to trade into the channel uh, channels that uh, rising channels, falling channels, um, and even horizontal channels, they're much, much stronger than just a, a single support line, because in, in essence there's two, there's a support and a resistance line, uh, which is dictating that channel, and they tend to have a much higher probability when we trade those, okay? So for the GBP USD, that is what I'm looking for, let's see if I can get it to surface this week. Okay, let's move it along. Let me have a look at the US CAD. All right, the US CAD is an interesting one. After this big congestion, congestion and the fall down, it's pulled back up, but we were expecting it to continue, but it seems to have settled into a zone over here, and I'm really stuck in this zone at the moment, and what I really need is I need the price to move away in either direction before it can give me an opportunity to to set something up and, and look for some kind of a trade all right so for right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark that sector so that when I come back and look at this chart I can remember what I was looking at and what I'm looking for is I want the price to move away from this um, shaded area that I've just put in and see if it can give me an opportunity to take advantage uh, later on. Alright that's the US CAD. Let's look at crude oil. Crude oil seems to be really flat. Uh, once this gap was filled, which we've filled it up already, uh, we're just really, just really grinding it, grinding it out, and it's basically just a really horrible looking chart, to be honest. Uh, there's not enough swings in this chart. When I say swings, what I'm talking about is uh, it's not swinging at all, nothing like that. So. I'm still going to stay away from this one guys, so unfortunately I cannot see an opportunity or, or a, a high probability trade um, on this particular chart. So crude oil this week, let's leave it alone again. Kiwi US dollar. Alright, let me have a quick look. If I place a top line up there, I was looking in this area here for an opportunity to try and trade this pair down and as I look there there was not a single reversal pattern in that whole bunch of candles so essentially that didn't happen so there's nothing there and the next best thing that I'm looking for now is let me get rid of this line it's because it's throwing me off I guess I will mark out the top one just so that I know where that level is and let me just go to a weekly chart for one moment so I can see okay got it I'll come back now so what I would like with this one is if it does swing up a little bit and then pulls back then right there on that pullback I would like to see reversal confirmation and then that would give me an opportunity to trade into the trend uh, in that direction okay and just 
the reason I've marked this top line is there because as we approach that line, we could come into a little bit of resistance. So just be aware of that in terms of profit taking if uh, this uh, scenario does play out. All right, so there you go. That's my plan for the Kiwi US dollar. Aussie 200. Okay. Aussie 200 is actually starting to trade very narrow. I'm just noticing here. Okay. It's definitely trading narrow. And we've got a little bit of a converging triangle. If I drop into a four hour time frame, what does that look like? Okay. We've got some sections here. I'm not really catching that really well with the four hour chart there. So let me just go back to my daily. Okay. Look, I would really like to see it leave this region before I can attempt a trade because I don't feel there's enough space if I was to take a trade back into that channel. There's not enough space for me to take my profit out if it was to play out. Okay, so what I'm really wanting is I want this to move away or move away in this direction. Once we leave this region, then I'll look for uh, alternative trades on the ASX 200. So for right now, let's just leave it. Let's see if it moves away from this converging, tight converging zone. Of course, if you're a breakout trader and you like breakout trading, then you could look for a big breakout candle, something like that. That will be your indicator to take the trade uh, in this direction or likewise in the opposite direction. All right, I'll just color it in to indicate a red one. And then that could be like that as well. That's for a breakout trader. All right. Last one for the week. Let me have a look at gold. Gold continues to, to push. When I looked at it last week and we said, let's see if we can get a, a dip and a buy, we didn't really produce anything. The dip wasn't deep enough to give us the reversal or anything that we're looking for. So in essence, we're still kind of looking for the same thing. Let's see if it dips and then gives us a, a significant reversal so that we can continue to trade in this trend. Okay, and if I go to a weekly chart on gold, you can see that this trend has been running since uh, July of 2018, which is all the way down here. And it's a very, very much in trend with a little hiccup here of COVID, but it's very much in trend. Okay, so there you have it. That is our analysis for this week. Let me bring up uh, the major highlights in terms of news that is happening uh, for this week so that we can take note. Here it is. So there's actually not a lot of uh, data this week, but these are the highlights we have on Tuesday from Canada Core Retail Sales. Then on Friday, we have PMI numbers from Germany and from France, which will affect the Euro. Okay, that's pretty much the highlight for this particular week. And that pretty much wraps up our session today, guys. So as always, please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, hope you all have a fantastic trading week, have a trading day, and I'll speak to you tomorrow for the daily call. Bye for now.